that's it. I have nothing else to do. Hey, nice to see you. Yes, I know, it's June, but it's a cold, windy, blustery day here on, up at Red Moose Ranch. So today we're gonna finish this interior of the Ridge Cabin. I can't believe I'm even saying it out loud. Finish it, done, as in no more work. Holy cow, that's weird. I started it almost a year ago to the day. So it'll be great when it's finished. Today we're gonna do some cool things with the interior. We're gonna make our own sconces from scratch. We're gonna make our own wall plate covers uh, for the outlets and the switches and we're coat racks and baseboard and we're gonna use all recycled, repurposed wood. Uh, I think I'm gonna take some of those two by fours from the old house that we tore down and I'm just gonna make that into the wood trim, two by twos, maybe one by two. So yeah, let's get going on this. We'll make it look awesome and that'll be it. Can you believe it? Oh, you're gonna like it. You're gonna like how it looks. Well, does that look like sconces and baseboard to you? I think so. Let's transform this wood. Okay, I'm gonna shoot for a one by five for that baseboard. So I think I can get that out of this 12 foot board right here. This is about seven inches right here. That's about four inches on this side. Um, there is, a, as you can see, a good check running right almost down the middle. It certainly favors the right, this side. So I should have enough meat over here. So let's get cutting, make some baseboard. Check out this nice board I'm gonna use for base. But look at this, check this out. See this crack right there? Yeah, that check runs down the middle of the whole thing. Just opens right up like it's ready to fall off. But I'm gonna use it because I'm gonna be nailing both sides of it against the wall. There's never, ever, ever gonna be any pressure making this board want to move in this direction. It's gonna be flat, it's gonna be pinned. It'll be just great. I don't wanna waste it. Okay, we have a stack for five inch material for the base. Now we just need to sand it up, make it look pretty. Favorite parts. Oh, God, look at that. I have about one inch of lacquer left, so hopefully I can do all my baseboard. Let's see what happens. Okay, the baseboard is lacquered. Gosh, look at that. So this little light came with the solar setup that I have. Basically, I'm going to make a box uh, that's open on top and open on the bottom, and that'll be my sconce. I'm going to hang this in the box, bury the cord somehow. Yeah, I think it'll look better than just this light bulb dangling there. Okay, that looks like a sconce, right? All right, 
That's what I thought. So this is gonna sit something like something like that. It's almost like a birdhouse, but without a top or a bottom. It looked great. Won't find any more like that. What are you doing, you ask? I'm just polyurethaning railroad spikes. That's pretty common practice. <laughs> I know, railroad spikes are about a dime a dozen. Uh, these are pretty cool because there used to be an old railroad line uh, that ran not too far away from Red Moose Ranch and down the hill about 1,500 feet in elevation. Actually, more like 2,000 feet in elevation. And... Uh, Anyway, these railroad spikes, they appear on the road every once in a while. Hey, there's another railroad spike. So they just make their way up to the surface. I throw them in the truck rather than run over them. And these are gonna make a coat rack. What do you think? I'm gonna take a little chunk of this live edge and I'm gonna Poke these in there like that. It'll be cool. Just put a little polyurethane on it to uh, prevent the rust from flaking off in the future. I think that'll just seal it up nicely. Keep your hat clean, keep your coats clean. Okay, the wall space for the coat rack is 28 and a half inches, but I don't want it that wide. I think I want it about 22 inches. Straight edge here. I'm gonna capture this knot just off off center. There's no rule that says these spikes have to be lined up in a nice row, is there? I want to take advantage of that. I don't want to cover this up. So it's going to be sitting like this on the wall. So I'm just going to put one spike down here and then raise these two up a little bit. Yeah, they don't have to be in a straight line. There's nothing perfect about this, right?
while those spikes are drying, let's try to make a cover plate. I've never tried to make a cover plate, but I think I found just the right wood. This is less than a half an inch thick. It's about three eighths inch thick. It's ponderosa pine. I don't know if there's a trick to this or not. I think maybe the my, my downfall might be the, the back end of these things are kind of concave. They're hollowed out a little bit. I'm gonna try to do that with my belt sander. I don't know if it's gonna work. I reserve the right to bail on this whole project. <laughs> I don't know, I've never tried it. It might be too much detail for what I'm, what I'm equipped with right here, but I have a jigsaw and a, a drill and a table saw, so let's just see what happens. What I'm gonna do instead of cutting a board this big and then working with it, I'm gonna actually just set this on a bigger piece of plank so that I can hold it, whatnot. So to that end, I'm gonna sand this first and then I will draw my template. So I think what is going to happen is I'm going to need some wood whittled away here and I need it to be concave a little bit because this is perfectly in line and once you add a screw head then that's going to make the wood sit off a little bit. So let's see if I can remove some of this material without messing it up. Okay, I'm gonna cut this one off, take it up to the ridge cabin, see if it's gonna work. What do you think? As long as I don't pay by the hour, I'll be good to go. That'll work. So this is the prototype outlet cover that I made. And I tried it and it works actually pretty good. So the ones I make now, I'm gonna indent this just a little bit more. But yeah, this will work out. I got five of these to make and one for the switch. Everyone needs a custom railroad spike coat rack for a cabin, right? Look at that. I don't know if you can see this. These holes obviously are round holes. 
So what I did is I packed the sides with sawdust. And now I'm just gonna give it one more coat and we'll be good to go. Look at that. Are you sad? Just think that could be the last load you ever see going up to the ridge cabin. You never know. All right, let's get to work. If only there was a place to hang my coat. Now we can get to work. Hey, let's put up some baseboard. Actually, let's put down some baseboard. I'm gonna start with this long section right here because that's the very first one you see. And I think that I have one that long. And then after that, I'll go on that wall and work my way around. Now let's get going on the corner. I'm gonna do these corners up here and along the ceiling and the corners of the room. So for the corners, I have this material right here. Nets out about three quarters of an inch by one inch. And this is actually ripped from two by fours from the old house. Comes in handy. Trim. Hey, let's put up some sconces. Sconces are up, but 
I still have to play with the cord on that one. Yeah. Buried the cord, hidden all the way along. There's the switch right here. Now I just have to do the same over there. Okay, what I'm doing, I am making a channel with my drill bit. <laughs> Not exactly the right thing to use, but it's working. And then I'm gonna put the, tuck the cord in there, and then I'll cap this with a small piece of wood, and you'll never see it. That's it. I have nothing else to do. Done. Finissimo. Complete. In the books. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I don't know what to say. God, here, let me show you around. Okay, I'm gonna go around the room and try to remember everything that we did in this episode. Cover plates. Switch plates. The light is a working. Going around the room, we have ah, coat rack, one of a kind. Look at that, pretty cool. Burnt pine from the property. Cover plate, cover plate, cover plate down there in the corner. Now look what I did. Backsplash. What do you think, huh? Pretty cool. We have sconces. What do you think, huh? So this one, I was able to route it in the corner and go down underneath because obviously it was shorter to the supply, which is right there. The other one, you probably saw me struggling. I routed the wire under that trim, under this little piece of trim, and then it follows the wire all the way up to the sconce. Here's the switch for that, right here. All right, and then underneath here, I wanted to hide those wires. So what I did, I built this false back. This, can take right out but all the wires are back there just slide it back into place and then you have a little shelf there wires are out of the way it's nice and tidy I want to say thanks for watching me build this cabin it was fun I do appreciate tuning in so I might have to take a week off in a couple of weeks not quite sure yet I hope not, I don't really like to do it. Um, traveling a little bit with the 4th of July weekend coming up. And then we're gonna be starting that new cabin right away. So right after the 4th weekend, I hope. So this is a wrap. This one's finished. I'm probably gonna do, kind of, we'll probably do a, like a move in uh, after everything's decorated, whatnot. A small introduction video of the finished product. And then I'm gonna do a, an entire build most likely from photos early on before I start videoing. I do have photos. Look at this. Unbelievable. So that's it. Nothing else to add. Thanks again for watching.
be sure to tune in for the next cabin build. I look forward to that. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. All right, until next time, take care. Mm -hmm.